so always we're gonna go through RE1 okay and we're going to always enable the rotary okay so if you don't enable the rotary your design is going to be spread across a lot longer and look funky okay so if you don't enable the rotary uh, essentially it doesn't translate the uh, X movement to the rotary it just does a loose X movement which would just it essentially elongates the file right yeah it's going to elongate it and before <coughs> even enabling in the software you're going to connect your rotary. Absolutely. So um, connecting the rotary is real simple though. It's just a three prong plug. Do we want to show people that um, inside the machine? Yeah, we could do so. If we jump to the machine, I'll show you. <coughs> just hold the light for you. Alrighty. Yeah. Want to man this or do you want to? Uh, I'll man it. Okay. Loosen this up. It's pretty tight. I'm probably going to break it. You should do that since I... It's okay. I'm probably going to break it. <clears throat> so there we go. This is the old connection right here. That's your Y motor uh, plug. So, so you unplug the Y motor plug. And then you're going to plug in your rotary attachment. So the rotary you just have set inside the machine here then? Yeah. So, so what's the first thing you want to do when you have your rotary set up? So you're going to put your rotary inside. And then you're going to lower your Z table. <clears throat> this there is the go. Z table. And you're going to lower that so that your, you know, your thing is high enough to be in focus. Okay. So in this case, it's your glass. We have it all lined up. It doesn't take too much. And we have paper on the... Can you guys walk through that again? It's hard to see. Oh, no problem. All right. It will give a little better angle here. Cool. So we'll walk through this guy. No, no, that's good. No, that's good. Yeah, walk through the part right. here where you have this. So we're going to lower the Z table until this is in focus. So that's one of the advantages of having the uh, Pro Series Vice the Muse uh, with the rotary, uh, and that's why we're showing it on the Pro, is with the Z table, it's really easy just to Z table down and throw your rotary in right away, mm -hmm. undo one plug, plug it in, enable it, and you're working with the rotary, right? Yeah, you're good to go. You, automatic Z table with the uh, push button, it's super simple. And then you're just going to line it up. So if we move our motor, you can see that so replaces your Y motor. So as, you, as the Y is you're essentially um, going up and down on the X, Y axis, instead of going up and down, you are just rotating the object. Yeah. OK, so it's what are we going to do here with the water? So you can see that there's a paper towel. Now the paper towel is doubled up. And it's just got a little dry in us, right? Like we put it on there wet, right? Yeah, it was supposed to be wet. It dried out after us talking so much, so. <laughs> so we're just dripping on a little bit of water, right? Yeah, we're adding water to the tissue. And then we're going to push this glass until it's flush with this edge. Now, why do we want to push it until it's flush against the edge? It might have motion since it is rounded on the top mm -hmm. and the bottom. It might shift while it's running. So it just helps keep it aligned. Yeah, it helps keep it aligned and these guys as well. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So do you want to switch to the software and show them how we... Yeah, let's switch to the software real quick. Huh? Yep. So you can see our glass is ready. It's in focus. And... We have our software up here, which is RE1. And what we did was click this icon that enabled the rotor. So, okay, so that was really easy. Super simple. And this is our design. Now, if you go to your design software, this is how it's going to look inside your design software. And knowing that you're going to go up from the top down mm -hmm. your and your uh, material sideways. <laughs> That glass is sitting sideways in there, so you want to turn it, what, 45 degrees? No, it'd be 90, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah, 90 degrees. Math's hard. It's okay. Yeah. Math's hard. Twice as much. And yeah. uh, then it'll be facing the right way. So essentially, uh, and especially using RE1 since there's no uh, switching, let's say you saved it like that and had an RE1, could you just use one of your um, um, tools on the left to, to turn it? Yeah, you could just turn it on here like this. But you just want to remember to keep it oriented such that it's the same way it is in the machine. Yeah, Okay. exactly. So, my power settings are going to be 23 power okay. and uh, speed of 60. Okay. And I found that's ideal to jump through. That's going to go through that tissue paper and uh, 
and just give it an ideal look. Nice. Now, what DPI do you have it set at? DPI, I'm going to do simple 250. Okay, now what's the reason you want to use 250 rather than 500 or 1000? Some people have the conception that if I use a higher DPI, I'm going to get a better uh, output. So with glass, you're not actually engraving into it like wood or something of that sort. You're creating micro, micro fractures, <coughs> hard to say, <coughs> and, uh, and too much heat. Well, it kicked on. I think that's the chiller just kicked um, on. Excuse yeah. that. We have uh, aircraft taking so, <laughs> off in the, in the studio. So too much heat is going to actually make even more micro fractures. So essentially, those big, those little micro fractures become big cracks. And yeah, it starts big to flake, cracks right? and it starts to flake, and yeah. that's not ideal for glass. And that's why we add the actual tissue paper or napkin with the water. Okay, cool. Because that's going to cool it down and keep it from creating too much micro Well, let's get this software off the screen here so we can get something uh, with some action. Uh, so we can get these guys uh, showing something. Let's see. Uh, i uh, got a question, looks like, over here. Sorry about that, um, Ruben. Looks like we have uh, Gil Noel asking, we like to use liquid hand soap when etching glass. Liquid hand soap is another great tool to use. Um, the reason why liquid hand soap works really great is the compound actually um, acts a little bit as a lubricant better than the, the water does. So it just kind of uh, enhances, but it essentially has the same effect. Liquid hand soap is good because you don't really need to put paper towel down with it. You can just use a little bit of soapy hand soap and kind of rub it on the glass and it works mm -hmm. just the same. So I'm going to run the uh, perimeter, just okay. double check it. So if we go into the machine. So if we look in the machine, we'll notice as we run the perimeter that oops, that it'll actually spin uh, rather than move around. So you'll notice that the laser will go pass back and forth from left to right, but still rotate as you would. So you can use that to double check your location real quick one last time. All right, now we have our settings and I am just going to hit play. All right, so again, we're running these settings at 60% speed and that's also at uh, 23 separate power at 250 DPI. Now, as you can see, um, it's, it's barely noticeable, the movement of the glass as it rotates around. And at 250 DPI, the speed's not too bad at all. Yeah. What is this job? Uh, speed time. Oh, uh, it's under two minutes. So if you imagine about two minutes per glass is a pretty reasonable time uh, to run off a uh, set of glasses for a wedding. If you imagine you did it for a wedding party and there were, let's say, uh, 100 people in a wedding party, 10, five on each side, yeah. 10 or 12, you could run an entire wedding parties off, you know, in an afternoon very easily. Now, yeah, good idea there. Turn it down a little. So as you can see, we have um, there's a little bit of smoke uh, and not a lot of exhaust pull. We have those two things off as we're just etching the glass. Really, the only real smoke that's coming up is coming off of the uh, the paper that we have on there white. Uh, Michael Wilcox, what's up, dude? Um, looks like we have uh, uh, yes, Jeff Hayes yes. acting. Actually, that is a P series 90 watt. We're doing this on a uh, P24 90 watt uh, uh, tube here. Um, this is one of our favorite machines across the board. It's the uh, least expensive way to get into a 90 watt machine uh, with a 24 by 16 inch table. You can actually pass through four foot by two foot pieces of material with the pass through doors. Motorized Z table gives you eight inches full of uh, uh, Z room. Plus, when you take off the knife bed, as you can see, you can throw in the rotary and have it rocking and rolling in just a moment's time. Yeah, and that, all that smoke is just really the tissue paper. If you no, were doing that's all tissue, yeah. Yeah, if you were doing just glass, it would be nothing. Looks like we're all set. I'll just pull it out. Yeah. Yeah, pull it out. So we're just gonna pull this out, and I guess we'll put the uh, Show them. the leather in there to take a look. Um, we'll give this a peel. Looks like a little stick in the middle, and then beautifully. If we look, gorgeous glass etching. Can you see us seeing us in the monitor? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. So there you are, J and K, for just joking. And that's, <laughs> that's why I do yeah. it. Um, is that going to focus? There we go. So, like I said, uh, really easy to use the rotary. Um, as you can see, uh, we just popped a glass in, got started, rock and roll in about five minutes. Uh, went from setup to having a glass engraved. Um, really easy to do, really easy to use, uh, just as easy to use.